pleasant day to all the stakeholders of the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Studies and Research in Agriculture, as well as everyone joining us from around the world. It is an honor for me to share our journey in agricultural and rural development. From the beginning, we at Bavi were aware of our bigger purpose, and that is to inspire Puso Para Sa Pinas within our ranks and also to everyone we encounter in the communities that we serve. The line Puso Para Sa Pinas is more than just a hashtag for us. It is an expression of our love for our country. We strongly believe that love of country is important in building a strong country. It is the same love that compels us to champion the talents and skills of the Filipino athlete. It is the same love that urges us to bring our sports women and men to the world stage, particularly in basketball, which is the most popular sport in the country through the Chooks to Go Filipinas program. With the Chooks to Go Filipinas program, we were at the forefront of leading the country in the first ever FIBA 3x3 Olympic qualifying tournament, while also building towards making it to the 2024 Paris Olympics. In the traditional 5-on-5 basketball, we were able to unite the once warring regional leagues, the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, the National Basketball League, and the Pilipinas Bisping Super Cup. Together with all three regional leagues, including Chukstogo Pilipinas 3x3, we will usher a brighter future for the Filipino basketball player. In the 24-year history of Bavi, we have always turned challenges into opportunities. From operating with a handful of small contract farms in Cebu and Davao as an upstart company in 1997, Bavi is now a nationwide enterprise. When I joined the company in 2002, we initiated the development of business operations outside Metro Manila with entrepreneurs in the countryside, which are primarily rural communities largely dependent on agriculture. We chose to partner with hundreds of small poultry farmers, feed millers, hatcheries, dressing plants, and truckers. This opened up business opportunities to local entrepreneurs in the countryside to be part of a big business which is nationwide in scope. Except for one farm in Cebu, we do not own any other production facilities across the country. All production facilities and trucks costing billions of pesos are investments by local entrepreneurs. We created partnerships for farms all the way to processing facilities and provided technical expertise and supervision to ensure a highly efficient supply chain in poultry integration. And to address the rapidly changing times, we invested early on in the digitalization and automation of our operations in rural areas. But it was never always smooth sailing. When the ASEAN Free Trade Agreement was about to be rolled out in the mid-2000s, we realized that cheaper imported chicken from our ASEAN neighbors could flood our market. We strongly believed then that we were in a sunset industry and that if we cannot figure out a way to be viable, we need to walk out from the poultry integration quickly rather than risk losing whatever financial capital we built over the years. The aftercare forced us to radically innovate, which gave birth to Chooks to Go, selling oven roasted chicken. We figured that if we are forced out of the poultry integration, we can import dressed chicken and sell it as roasted chicken in our own stores at significantly higher margins. We calculated that we needed about a thousand stores selling roasted chicken to generate the same income stream from our poultry integration and preserve the livelihood of our existing employees. This proved to be a game changer for Bavi as Chooks to Go evolved to become our flagship brand and our most reliable cash cow. Our retail stores has grown to close to 2,000 today and has provided more employment opportunities to over 5,000 workers across the country. We are today the dominant market leader in the roasted chicken market, that even if we add up the businesses of the number two to number 10 competitors, Chooks to Go is still bigger than all of them combined. And we still have our traditional bounty fresh poultry integration intact, which has likewise grown many times 
over pre-AFTA volumes. We continue to innovate to set us apart from competition. Today, we are the only company in the country that produces no antibiotics ever chicken through our zero antibiotics chicken production system. This addresses the global threat of antimicrobial resistance in humans, which is predicted to be a catastrophic pandemic by year 2050 if irresponsible use of antibiotics in animal production is not abated. We were never prepared for the onslaught of COVID-19 pandemic to our business. Practically overnight, people just stopped buying our products because of the lockdown. Most people did not have access to the market as public transportation was suspended. Most of our production went straight to the cold storage. For a week, cash flow dried up. All our employees from administration, HR, finance, all the way to managers and executives volunteered to be a part of the rolling store operations to bring our products to communities on lockdown. While most companies stood still during the first phase of the pandemic, all our employees were out on the streets every day, Monday to Sunday, including holidays, to peddle our chicken to communities affected by the lockdown. I know it was needed to survive the crisis, but I cannot in conscience demand that from my people because of the risk to their lives. I never imagined that our employees will volunteer to keep the business afloat. And thank God we did, without a single casualty or hospitalization, and a stronger business emerged. When quarantine restrictions were relaxed, our rolling stores became irrelevant. This gave birth to the Chooks to Go reseller program, which was created primarily to provide livelihood opportunities to displaced workers. Today, we have over 15,000 registered resellers across the country and growing. We provide them hefty discounts for them to price competitively to end users. To date, our resellers have completely replaced our traditional trade distributors and is the most profitable trade channel next to Chukstabo. Among others, one marginalized sector in our society that we are supporting are our soldier retirees. The current system mandates retirement at age 56, and it is common knowledge that their paltry pension is far from enough to carry them through their old age. We partnered with the AFP in our Kabuhayan Para Sa Mga Kawal ng Bayan or Kawan project to provide livelihood to Army retirees who are willing and able. Army retirees normally go back to their home provinces upon retirement. The Kawan program hopes to provide meaningful livelihood to soldier retirees. We are gladly doing this in gratitude for the dedicated service in the preservation of peace and order in our country. As our contribution for peace in conflict zones in the country, we offer country-growing livelihood opportunities to rebel returnees in Sulu and Basilan. We accepted small, traditional, open-sided houses and even provided equipment for free to encourage locals to participate. Our cost of production in these areas are significantly higher, but we are committed to support the expansion for as long as there are interested parties. We believe that peace does not come without risk and that its rewards go beyond economics. We chose to invest in peace as a way of life and not just a matter of good corporate citizenship. Beyond growing our business, our dream is to help Sulu and Basilan win the peace by gaining for itself a real stake in development. We share their aspirations for economic independence along with the rest of the marginalized areas in the country. Let me end by publicly declaring our commitment to continue our pursuit for agricultural and rural development in our country. We share the quest of Circa to see prosperity thrive across our farmlands. Puso para sa Pinas.